Alright, hey guys. In this video, <coughs> sorry, we we are doing the main area, interior, and hopefully finishing all of it. Uh, first things first, I forgot this in the last video, so I'm doing it now. There are some underwater light blocks. So, well, not not underwater. What am I talking about? Uh, they basically just need to uh, go on the underneath side. So, if we come over here to the studio, we can come over here to the third stair, back in one. There's where one goes. Next up, let's see. We have... Okay, so if we count over here, if we're going to go to the one, two, three, four stair, and actually, we go to the fifth, and we want underneath the stair one, two, three, four. Yes. And on this side, we want one in the middle of the glass right there. We need one to go <clears throat> on bedroom side. But looking like this, we want one to go right here. And then we need to line up with this. And we want to come back and then to this and then leave one block and then put one. So, uh, that should, yes, that looks like all of them. Yes, okay. So, let me head inside on my reference. <clears throat> so, okay, so what we're going to do. Is we can grab some, uh, let's grab gray, not like gray, gray wool. Um, let's grab these three. Sorry, just look at, um, my inventory. <clears throat> and then we're gonna need some dark oak stairs, some, uh, light blue and blue carpet, or no, sorry. Whoa blue and cyan and then we're gonna need some oak 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 planks and glass blocks all right so what we want to do <clears throat> let's just fill in a floor so on this side by the studio i'm going to put three blocks here and we can fill it all the way back to right here and then we want one to go like that just because that's where the uh, door goes. So, um, actually, hold up. Um, I believe how many blocks do we want on this side? We want two. So we want two blocks. Okay, yeah. So this is correct. We just want to fill in. Uh, so it's like this. So we want two blocks on this side and then three on the studio and house side. <laughs> what is going on? My voice just died. Um. Okay, we've done that. And I also, I think, yeah, we can fill in these four too. So, moving on to our walls. Let's go over by the bedroom. So, what we want to do is starting uh, right here, we want to put three. Uh, smooth sandstone, and then we can just alternate. And we want to do spruce, dark oak, spruce. So spruce, dark oak, spruce. We just go. I'm just gonna place a block in here. So spruce, uh, spruce, dark oak, spruce, spruce, dark oak, spruce, spruce, dark oak, spruce. Get the message, and then up here we want one spruce facing down like that. Uh, in the center three, you can place dark oak stairs, one on the corners, and then we want blue on either side, and then cyan. I guess let's go to these sideways walls. So we want to put, uh, for facing to like the left coming out of this bedroom door. We want we have this here. Um, want to put three sandstone, and we want to put two gray wool, and then we want to do uh spruce, dark oak spruce, and then we're gonna leave a big gap 
So you can actually just come over to this other side. And. I believe. Hmm. Actually, let's do, let's do this back wall first. Because then we can verify the placement. So. Actually, we'll do. We'll do the other side wall. So you want to start with. Uh, actually, what, what am I talking about? Hold up. So this. Yeah, this is all correct. Yeah, this is fine. And then, so this wall is normal. If we come over here, we want these two blocks. Then I'm just going to place a temporary row of oak points across here. And we are going to start with uh, spruce, dark oak, spruce, pretty much alternating. On the second one, we can actually punch that out, and there's going to be another doorway there, lady, in the studio. We can punch out our temporary blocks. That floor is going to be gray concrete powder. Do that in a minute. So if we come over to this side, uh, we can add our three. And then we're going to put two, and then spruce dark oak spruce. So now, we have this weird fish tank, which I guess we will build next so we want, want dark oak stairs some pillar quartz we need chiseled quartz um what else we need light blue concrete uh we need sand we're gonna need water um <clears throat> oak planks spruce planks and uh glass blocks I will add in, I'm not going to add in the fish just because they're like weird textures and stuff. And yeah, if anyone knows how to like use summon command to spawn in like different, like unique uh, tropical fish, please just tell me. I've spent a while looking it up and I can't find anything. So we're going to put pillars of three pillar quartz and we're going to put a beam of chisel quartz and two glass. Next up we can put a... Uh, Seven there like that, and if we come back in here, um, we need a temporary block, so I'm just gonna use sand, and then everywhere behind this glass, and then the center two, I'll put sand. Sorry, I'm using oak planks, which I think is actually correct. So <clears throat> use oak planks. Uh, then we're gonna just kind of create an outline of this room with uh, light blue. Then I guess before we do the roof, actually, we are going to need to uh, put in all the kelp and stuff. So I know this water, when I put in the roof, it's going to look weird. And that's okay. It fixes itself at some point. I think. I, I don't really know how it works. So we want kelp and seagrass. We also want, we want fire coral, kelp, seagrass, and I believe... Brain coral. Yes, so we want brain coral back brain uh, brain coral back there. We want a red there and then two reds there. And we can fill in these three seagrass and then we want a two high kelp. So now what we need is we just need oak and spruce planks. We want uh two spruce planks in the center of this and everywhere else we can put in oak planks. And then we just put oak planks on top of this too. So it's like that. So that's most of this area. Uh, we can copy this bench design over to this side too. Um, all right, we're gonna need some item frames, some birch signs, I think a cake, and then a music disc. What music disc? Yes, I get over there on the reference is yellow. It's 13. And then we need um, gray concrete powder. Dark oak doors. So we can actually put doors on. Well, we need gray concrete powder and the door. The door up here. Item frame with a cake above Stampy's room. Item frame with the cat disc above the studio. Over here on the site line, we can just write studio. 
And over here, we can write, let's say, fly over there, Stampy's room. So, it's just like that. Um, yes. So now what we're going to do, I guess we do the center area. So we're going to need some oak planks, some glass, I guess some water. Um, yeah. Oh, and I believe above here is actually smooth stone. Don't ask why, because I couldn't tell you. Um, yeah. Oh, we can also get some oak wood. Let's do this area first, actually. So we're going to put oak wood right here and right here. Um, and then, okay, we're going to need birch log, um, jungle, trap doors, flower pot, and a fern. So flower pot right there, and then a fern. So we can put our, oh, got stripped of oak logs, we need birch, so let's put them there. We can put, uh, we want these to be on the ground because you can see the handles, and that's how they look. And you want a flower pot with a fern, just like that. So I guess center area. So, you can put, uh, four in these corners. Probably gonna need some more materials. So if we're looking, Stampy's bedroom is over there. We want the glass on these two, and on these two, and this actually comes all the way down to here, so just like that. Um, let me check here. Actually, we want. Okay, so let's get some new materials. Let's grab our oak there. Uh, we need water, and then we need spruce, actually. So what we can do is we want spruce on these two. And on the other two at the side. So this is at, what, the four, four block height. So one, two, three. Uh. We need... Sorry for that delay. So we actually want this one to be oak. And the other ones are spruce, yes. So we want oak to go here and here. And then we fill in everything else with glass. You're gonna need some oak, birch signs, and then dark oak pressure plates. And this we want to say to the VIP lounge. Like that, and we want all these to be source blocks, just so that, like, the bubbles go all the way up. Correct. Uh, yes. Oh, and we actually want these to be swabs. So we want magma to be on the right, and then sulfur to be on the left. I don't know why we had it the other way. So now what we can do is let's just fill in all of the roof at the four block height from here, uh, and with spruce planks. And we gotta punch out the stairway. I think we can do this all in one part. It just may be a longer part. Is there anything I'm missing down here besides the stairs and the light blocks? I don't think so. Alright, so let's see what we need for the stairs. We need 
dark oak stairs and spruce stairs. Dark oak stairs, spruce stairs. We need spruce trap doors. Um, strip spruce logs. Um, spruce gates. And then what is that? Those are dark oak stairs, so we should be all good there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we come up. I guess we'll come up. Which way do we go? I guess we just fly here to the second floor. We want uh, spruce planks, actually, too. And we want these to come out five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. We want uh, two dark oak stairs, just like that. And then we can pretty much just punch out a hole until we are. Let's just go one past these uh, windows here. And then we want to curve this bottom one so it's like that. And then we can put two, two upside down ones underneath each of these. That's right, this is really weird. It, like places through the stair. But yeah. Alright, so we have this area in here now. So what we can do is oh, we will need some dark oak slabs. So if we want to place a strip spruce right here and right here. If we skip three, right there, and then right there, we can put uh dark oak slabs across here. Um, let me just make sure that's correct, yes. And then, okay, so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna punch out these three. And we're gonna place one that's like that and uh, like that, so it kind of like curves out. So it's like that. And then, in line with this log here. Actually, what we want to do so, all right, so underneath the log, we want one that we want to block, and then we want two upside down ones. So I know it's confusing. So, underneath the log, we want one like this, and then two like that. We actually put uh, two spruce trap doors just like this, and then we are going to put our slabs. Uh, Right up here, like this. We're gonna place inwards facing dark oak stairs. And then we can put spruce fence gates going along like this. And that's our staircase. Um, let's see, where to start from here? Where to go from here more of? Uh, Alright, it's looking like we're going to have to split this into two parts, but maybe not. So yes, we can we put two stairs going down like this. Um, we're going to need some blue and cyan carpets. Uh, see, if we leave one from this stair, we're going to put a blue and blue diagonal and cyan going like this. And blue up like this, and cyan like that, and then blue. Uh, the other side is like kind of the inverse, but not really. So we want to leave one aside and go like this, like that, and then like kind of like just like that. So those are those two. Um. All right. So I guess let's work on some of these walls. So let's do uh, stripped birch logs. Uh, birch planks and torches. We need uh, oak planks, some um, stairs, and yeah. Oh, big thing we're missing. Um, get a composter, a 
spruce fence. Um, and then come back downstairs real quick. Um, just realized we need these, so we're gonna need some spruce leaves here. And then just grab some like seeds. And then I'm pretty sure, yes, in every corner downstairs, we want this weird design here. And then we want this to be filled up until it has the white specks. It's like that. Yeah, luckily he has these designs on the second floor too, or I would have missed that. Although upstairs, I believe they are oak leaves. Um, are they oak or are they birch? They are oak. And we only want them, so if we just come over to this wall, um... Want them if we leave a block, we can put them right in front of these logs. And yeah, I think it's a pretty cool design. It's like a mini tree. So, alright, back to this wall that I was building. Um, so, we want to leave a block from the stairs and put up four. Uh, leaf three, put up four of our logs. Leaf three again, put up four. Leaf three, put up four. And all of these are going to be torches on the top. Um, here I can put it upside down stairs. And then we can just fill uh, these in with birch, but we want to leave that one empty. Um, Alright, next. This wall we're going to skip right now because it's relatively similar. So I want to do like the different walls while I have the materials for them. So let's get rid of these and let's grab some note blocks, paintings. If I can find them, note blocks, paintings. Um, we need we have birch planks already. We need birch stairs. Definitely birch slabs. That should be good for now. All right, so we're gonna come back right behind this one. We're gonna put four. We're gonna leave two. Put four again. We're gonna leave five. Put four. We're gonna leave two. Put four. I've got torches on top of all of these. Put an upside down birch stairs on this one and this one. On this one, we want a block in each corner. You put in three stairs up top here and then three slabs like that. We want two note blocks on here, and then we are going to put in, uh, we want oak planks behind this, just because I'm pretty sure these are visible, so just put make it oak planks. And these are going to have paintings, so, yeah, I'll do the paintings now. So I'm going to kind of do like three at a time, just so hopefully it makes it seem faster. Well, we got both of those, and we just need like that one. Okay, so those are those three. And then, I didn't get any of them. Oh, we got these two. And then this one has to be like the dark one. The really dark one. Like the dark one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Alright, so those are the paintings. You can pause if needed. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait up. These, these are not slabs. What am I thinking? These are upside down stairs. There we go. Alright, uh, I guess we'll do... This back wall here. This back wall is really easy. We just need some uh, jungle stairs. I think this video is going to run on a bit longer, but we're finishing this. And then, so we want to like curve it out on the ends and put one in. So out, out, in. Alright, so I guess let's grab uh, oak stairs, oak planks. Let's grab glass, spruce planks, ladders, torches, water. So we're going to do the roof. Um, we can just put a ring. Okay, so on the sides with the bedroom and studio, we want a row of oak. And now we're going to put a 
ring of stairs going all the way around. Yeah, it will be worth it even if this video runs longer. So, um, we're going to do the same thing again. So, on the bedroom side, in the studio side, we want a row of blocks. And we're going to make a ring of stairs. Okay, good. We don't need one there. And then, right there. And then, we just fill in the roof with oak planks. Oh, uh, alright, I'll change those slabs in a second. Uh, let's grab our slabs real quick, make these all full blocks. Is that what it should look like? Uh, no, something's off. Ooh. Um, so on the side we have two. Two, and then that's where. All right, we'll we'll leave it like that for now. And if we have to change it, we can. So we want for this part, we want to bring up. Let's see, spruce planks in the corners, and we can just bring this up a total of. Uh, let's just do six blocks for now. Six blocks. Six blocks. Six blocks. Six blocks. Oh, we have my oak planks on the back with uh, ladders on the sides and the front. I believe we still want glass, right? Yes, yes. And then let me just check and see there. Because that one, wait, this one we want to leave empty. Oh, that's right. We need um, spruce slabs. And these, these should actually be spruce slabs. Because these are going to be waterlogged and then it's going to like carry on. So we're going to leave those out and then we'll put them up here. Oops. Uh, put that in. And then glass coming all the way up. We have a few torches. So we want it on the third block high on both of these shorter sides. Yeah, I guess this middle area. Do we do something wrong up here? Pretty sure this should be the shape. I guess at the height it's at, um... Well, we need to just, let's just fill in these ones. These ones, we can uh, fill in these two. And just, I guess, bring our ladders up there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this upstairs area, I think. So, oh, we gotta do this section, and then I'm gonna show you guys the light blocks. So we're gonna need this, we're gonna need power cords. Um, let's see, we're gonna need some smooth sandstone. We need a uh, gray carpet, um, spruce trap doors, and polished andesite stairs. Birch planks. And I guess that's where we'll leave it for now. Uh, we can grab lanterns and a flower pot. So we have these three going in here that we want. We put in uh, four of our sandstone behind this. We want uh, three, and then we want uh, upside down ones like this, actually. So it kind of like makes like this shape on the wall. And then we want on this level, we want a uh, birch plank, actually. And we want pillar quartz connecting this. And we can actually just put power cords connecting this again. And then, so what we want is we want to leave this power cord so that's visible. We want uh, to make a 3x4 with carpet. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Fill this in. 
um, on these walls here we can put uh, little couches like sideways right there sideways like that then we want uh, birch planks in these corners again we can put three trap doors we want flower pot um, uh, it's not going to let you spawn one in now, so you got to do slash fill and six squiggly lines, flower, underscore, pot. There you go. Problem solved. Um, alright, let's grab materials, gray, light gray, concrete, we need a blue orchid. Um, I believe we can just grab some oak slabs and some lanterns, and that should be good to finish up this area. So, alright, so what we want to do is we want to put the gray on top of all of these, and then we want four gray. So, gray on top of the birch, and then four gray. And we want uh, two high of light gray. Um, we can connect it here, and then we want to put a uh, three and then one. In this wall part, we can do the same thing, so three and then one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put, uh, starting on this bottom half, we want ones, and then like that. And slabs, and then bottom half there, so it just kind of, it's like a ramp, and it goes up half each time, and then we want lanterns on those two. Oh. My flower pot is gone. Okay, let's try and do this again. I don't know if I burped that or what. And then we can just put tulip in there. Or not tulip, blue orchid. So, uh, yeah. Uh, there are no light blocks on this top part that I know of. So if we come down here, though, we can do... Alright, yeah, so even though this was a longer-ish video, we're still going to be able to finish fairly quickly. Um, let's see. So we want ones. Oh, wow, this is really easy. So we want ones right above the middle of the stairs here. We want these ones all to have one. We want one right there. And then we want on these two glass in line with the stair. We want ones like that. So, yeah, pretty easy. Uh, one quick thing before our video ends is we can fill this up but we want all of this to be source blocks um, I guess so let me just I'm just gonna bring all of this up kinda so it's like this at this height and then we can put our ladders here and then yeah we want to fill all these in with source blocks Oh, and then I'm going to grab some diamond real quick. I'm going to block off our slabs here, and then we can actually just waterlog those. And then the bubble should go all the way up. And we are good. Let me just check and make sure this inside part is correct, so I know it's like weird. Here. So we want to have it be like that. So, uh, we have two glass. Yep, looks right. Alright, guys. Well, thank you for watching up until this point. That's the end of our video, and we are done the inside. So, in the next video, we are going to do the studio, and the outside should be an easier video. And then we're going to get into the VIP lounge. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.